Hello and welcome to a new Indie Sunday. Today we're going to be playing Rotate PDF. And what sounds like a cheap um <laughs> a cheap online version of a PDF converter is actually a game uh, that apparently struggles slightly with adapting to 4K resolution <laughs> as it seems. Um well let's go. Let's let's see if it actually covers more of the screen in the game or if we just have like a white edge of the screen. Disc one, sure. Uh, it said warning by saving on the slot and then it moved, it, it's gone now. Uh, I once went, went to an organization called IDA. They do paperwork. It said on a flyer I found waiting for a bus and they were hiring. I still remember seeing the tall buildings approach on the horizon as I worried about what to say in the job interview. Okay, it does cover everything, kind of. Oh, I can run. Can I jump as well? Yes, I can. Oh, there's a bike. Nothing I can do with the bike? Apparently so. All right, we'll move along. IDA. Hello there. Right, that seems like a big gate. The main entrance. The stone engravings say, press E to enter in Latin. But do I want to enter? Or would I rather go up there? Okay, I can't go up there. I, I don't know about the background music. As the heavy door creaked open, I gained sight into a long, almost empty hall. My steps echoed through it, drawing attention to the fact that I, in turn, heard nothing. I was alone there. Since I had no instruction on where to go or who to ask, no phone number and no other address, my only option was going further into the branching corridors, shooting off between the heavy-handed decoration. Turning corner after corner without seeing a soul, I arrive at a different part of the building. Here, the ceiling lowered and everything began to look more like an office space. A large glass panel with a door led to a carpeted hallway. Here, I finally found doors with a name tag on them. On my left, I saw 6144 Kennedy. On my right, it read 6317 Kramer. And in the middle, I could see the doors between those two, apparently. Although I was in doubt that somebody would answer, I took a chance and knocked on the left one. No response. Right? No response, either. Yet more dispirited, I tried two or three other doors before quickly deciding to take the glassy door back to where I came. More wandering... And yet more wandering, I peeked into more branching hallways as I went, finding them mostly alike and giving away little about where I should be heading. Then, however, I stumbled into one that was distinctly different. There were no doors and the walls were blank, only lights hanging from above in regular intervals. Yet in the middle of it, I could make out an isolated desk, standing there unattended and seemingly without purpose. This was due some investigation. Oh, there's the desk, yes. Investigate. Or just move past. I don't think there's an interact button. Uh, at least if there is, I haven't found it yet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, sorry, said the person lying on the floor. The red printer ink arrived today and I was a little clumsy. As they stood up, I noticed a clip on their uniform reading HR Training Dap. I explained why I was here and got a few knowing nods in return. Apparently, I ran into the right person. They apologized for the unusual introduction and started walking me further into the complex. Winding through yet more corridors, I was introduced to what was supposedly my work here. I was supposed to rotate documents sent in from clients, either by 90 or by 180 degrees. Just rotate them, nothing more. J just rotate them? I asked the employee in the magenta stained uniform. The answer was yes. I was only supposed to rotate them. Thinking that they were joking, I politely laughed and didn't comment. The person from HR, as they were elaborating to me how exactly I should rotate, made for a good gesture, because they were still wet with printer ink. They explained that I would, in a few minutes, sit down at the desk. There the documents would be assigned to me. After that, I would get a little certificate, they explained, which I should sign. 
they were not joking. Oh, and we have motor on for work because it increases productivity, they continued. Some employees even grew in height. I hope it doesn't bother you. At first I was a little irritated, but I've come to like it over time. When we finally arrived, I was seated in a slightly claustrophobic yet tastefully furnished single-person office. Although this was for training only, it had everything. Printer, stapler, telephone, cassette player, and even a coffee machine. However, as established, I was only supposed to rotate. Before leaving the room, the magenta person noted that the following was only a trial run with mock documents to test my abilities. Still waiting for a TV moderator to jump out from behind a potted plant to announce how I hilariously fell for the trick, I began my work. Alright. Inquiry form. Welcome to IDA. Please drag the document on the left to rotate it. A certificate will be issued to be signed by clicking. Okay. Proof of clearance. I'm rotating them. I'm also moving them, actually, which I'm not sure is as intended, but we'll take our proof of clearance. This document is a proof of clearance of previously specified conditions and may be withdrawn as determined therein. Oh, am I supposed to sign it? I am. I was wondering why it didn't continue. Please note that this is a test with mock files and that you will be monitored for performance. Okay. Let's put that right over there. This document does not initiate a binding relationship between the inquirer and the IDA. All liabilities lie on the side of inquirer and operator respectively. IDA reserves rights imposing limiting conditions on transaction concerning the inquiry ordering termination of involvement of either party and withholding related documents. Further conditions may apply. Okay. But what do you want me to do with it? Does that say? It says communications department. Internal communications department. Okay. What do you want me to do with this? I just put everything on top of each other? Let's move it away. No, seriously, what, what do you want me to do, game? I'm apparently not capable of rotating properly. It's, it's in a nice kind of folder way. No? Okay. I'm lost. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, should continue, but like... There's no signature for this one. Yes. That you will be monitored for performance. Okay. Maybe this is part of it. I am just supposed to rotate documents. There is nothing more. This is the game. It might actually be... Let me line them up nicely. Okay. I'm a good rotator. Oh! More proof of clearance. Okay, I don't know what happened there. But I'll take it. Oh. We ask you to deal with 50 documents. Okay. Let me move that over here. Let me s uh, line it up there. Yeah, it's nicely lined up. Oh. Yes. Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. You stay there. Good luck. Okay. Now, it's all getting out of shape. 
Right, you move over there. We'll have to line this back up. Actually, we'll start right down there at the bottom. You go here. Then you go over there. Then you'll go here. Come on. Right, that'll do. We'll move that over there. No one needs that. Right, and we'll move you along nicely. There we go. It's perfect. What do we do with all of these? I don't know. We could line them up all on top of each other. Over here somewhere. That's where the proof of clearance is going to come in, though. We don't want that. We'll line them up over there. You go over there. Then you will move straight on top. That'll do. It's actually kind of difficult because the moment you have two documents on top of each other, it'll take both. So I have to be a bit careful. Here's the next proof of clearance. Come on. I can't quite get it right. You know what? Let's just move you out of the out of the table, off the table. No. Oh. Inquiry content? Nothing. All right. Oh. Well. And suddenly this has turned Japanese. I mean, we'll keep lining things up. That's not a problem. Here you go. And then that moves over there onto the pile with the others. Let me actually line it up correctly. Oh, thank you. One second, I'm not finished with it yet. There you go. Oh. Uh, another empty inquiry content. This is a test. Yep. All right. Nice. Oh, another proof of clearance. We'll move that over there. No, not everything. Just that over there. Very nice. Oh. Repeat. Now, stay here. Good document. Okay. It has to go a bit off screen. That's just the way it has to go. Perfect. And then we'll move you back over here. suddenly started becoming German. Oh, basically just says join. Sure, but I haven't moved it over there yet. Alright, IDA. Just a black rectangle. Okay, that was quick. I did a very good job on that one. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Lovely. Come on. Get over there. Ah, nice. Okay. Uh, let me quickly move that up here. Alright. What is this letter? I can't read any of it, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would. And we'll actually, we'll leave a little bit of space here because I think that's where the new document will come in. And otherwise, I can't move it properly. Alright. Waiting for my approval. Maybe. Click through these. We've collected a lot. They've all had no inquiry content the last. 
uh, seven. Oh god, it, it'll actually give me 50 documents, right? <laughs> I don't think we'll do 50 documents. I wonder if it's purely time-based or if there actually is some kind of condition, something you need to do before you get the next one. We'll move that a little bit more straight. Yeah, much better. There we go. That needs to be moved up slightly. Not actually up, but you know, just the right side of it. There we go. Then we'll move that. Slightly out of shape. There we go. All right. I think I'll probably end this here, though. I mean, do I have I have to save game. I can save it. So, um, apparently, move outside or go outside or whatever it was. I think it was back outside. Just ended my shift and continues the game. All right, sure. After that hard shift of uh, rotating, I needed a break. A break where? I guess I can just continue over there. No need for me to stop. There's a car and another door. A wooden back door. It's locked. A faint smell of stapler clips and A4 paper runs the imagination. And a small car. Oh. Uh. Ow. Okay. Can I... Oh. For some reason I can stand on the car. That doesn't give me enough height though. Can I move the car in any way? I don't think so. I also don't have a double jump. What can I do with the mouse, by the way? Can I do anything with it? I don't think so. I guess we're moving back. There's no way for me to stand on any any of this here, is there? No. Okay. Nothing here either. What happens if I just go back in? It was time to go back to work. Apparently so. I can move that back down here. That back up there. And we wait. But nothing arrives, so we go back outside. Okay, I think there is, well, there might be something more, but I don't know how I'd get to it. <laughs> so this time, uh, we're going to end our Indie Sunday here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys again next time. Till then.